Career advice from four tech industry leaders who race StackQuest. Bam. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer and welcome to StackQuest. Today we're going to talk about career advice from tech industry leaders. This StackQuest is brought to you by the letters A, B, and C. A always, B, B, C, curious. Always be curious. If you don't already know, September 4th is Global Frank Starmer Day. This year, we're going to celebrate in a super special way. By hearing career advice from four tech industry veterans and leaders that have been influenced by Frank. These four luminaries that have started up more startups than I can wrap my brain around, pioneered Oscar award-winning computer graphics, and crafted the most elegant user interfaces I've seen, have also had a huge influence on me. I can't even begin to tell you how much I've learned from them. So, without further ado, number one, ask questions to uncover the real problem. Hi Frank, it's Brian from the IT Lab. Here's one of the lessons that you taught me that I still use today. When a user or a client comes to you with a solution, always ask questions about what the problem is. It is often the case that the solution is a solution to a symptom of the problem and not the solution to the core problem. By asking questions and generally being curious, you can work together to get to the root of the problem and come up with the best solution. Thanks for this lesson and the many other lessons you taught me as a young programmer back in our scrappy little IT lab. Bam! Number two, value everyone's contribution. Hey Frank, this is Christopher Zorn from the IT lab. One lesson that has always stuck with me is to value everyone's contribution. Valuing everyone's contribution allows you to solve problems in unique and often better ways. I think most importantly though, it creates confidence. You instilled a lot of confidence in me and throughout my career I learned that instilling confidence in others, valuing others, a confident and happy team can do anything. Thank you very much for this lesson. Double bam. Number three, small steps lead to significant progress. Hey Frank, this is Nathan from the IT Lab. I still think about those bridge runs, especially the hot ones, when it was over 90 degrees. On those runs, you always say, improving by just a small percentage each day adds up to significant progress over time. At that time, I assumed that applied to running and surviving the heat. That idea has stuck with me. It's helped me push through a lot of moments when motivation was low. Just making tiny steps until those steps really added up. Also, your lesson of using simple tools to do one thing well, like Unix commands, really shaped how I think about problem solving. Thanks for the lessons. I really appreciate everything I learned from you. Triple Bam. Number four, Unix pipes as a software design pattern. I was 19 when I went to work for Frank. I knew how to code. I'd taken a bunch of software engineering courses. I own my own copy of Bucha's design patterns book. But Frank taught me the software design concept that I've deployed repeatedly for the last 27 years. Unix pipes as a software design pattern. I knew about Unix pipes, of course, and used them. But I never appreciated the philosophy they embodied. Having easy to understand data is way more important than fancy APIs. As long as I know the data that's being produced by one module, I don't have to know how it works, how it upgrades, what ABI version it supports. The complementary idea is that a single software module only has to express what data it expects and specify what it produces. It can stay simple. It does not have to predict how the system will evolve. It does not have to chart all the ways somebody will use the software or even what language some future developer will want to use for some other module. My personal contribution to computer graphics was to make the very small leap to apply the pipe architecture to fluid dynamics and solid mechanics problems. Allow artists to create worlds made of cubes or just drive a virtual car through a pile of leaves. I didn't have to imagine all the worlds they were going to create. I didn't have to imagine all the differential equations they were going to need. I just had to specify the data that each small module would consume and produce. I only worked for Frank for a couple of years, and he was a great boss. 
but more importantly, I'm lucky to be able to call him one of my most important teachers. Happy birthday, Frank. Quadruple bam. Happy birthday, pup. Now it's time for some shameless self-promotion. If you want to review statistics and machine learning offline, check out the StatQuest PDF study guides and my books, the StatQuest Illustrated Guide to Machine Learning, and the StatQuest Illustrated Guide to Neural Networks and AI at statquest.org. There's something for everyone. Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting StatQuest. If you like this StatQuest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support StatQuest, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs or a t-shirt or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!